It's showtime. I'm in my brand new power armour. It took some time to put on. Almost an hour. I'm a fairly tall person, about 6'2 in freedom units. In the armour, I'm well over 7 foot. My left shoulder pauldron has my stylized cupbearer icon. The right has Biggie's double-headed eagle. A unique honour at this time. Not even any legions can use it right now. I am hugely honoured. It took a few minutes to learn to walk right. After 20, it was natural. Imps makes great gear. Power armour is meant to take way longer to get used to. The body of the armour is mostly plain custodies gold, with bits of red. I have a raised collar that is silvery, as are my graves and gauntlets. I feel like a badass. <laughs> this is a hallmark of this. I, I think, feel like yeah, a... Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> let's do this, you know what I mean? As I walk, I can feel the weight. I'm used to people clearing the way for my grip. Having a custodian solars as your guard will do that. This is different, though. People stare at my armour, likely the eagle giving them pause. Razitz is walking at my left, all business. Legos is likely behind me, but I can't actually feel him there. As we approach a gate to the landing zone, we are joined by the rest of the Sunny Dogs, as well as some menial tasks with carrying their standards. As the gate starts opening, I try to put on my best stoic face. Gotta look good for the cameras. <laughs> I really don't want to embarrass the Emperor of Mankind. As the gate truly opens, I can hear the crowds. As the front ranks leave, it gets louder. An endless roar of thunder. As I walk out, I try and wave to the crowds, and anything I think has a camera. I try not to look like a goof. I wish I was allowed to wear my helmet. Ems had that shipped to my quarters on the ship ahead of time, so I couldn't. I feel sick, but hold it in. Try to focus on waving and make it to the landing ship. Once on board, some saint hands me a barf bag. I will ask about getting him a medal. <laughs> <laughs> my quarters on the ship are nice, but not like the Emps flagship. Basically an upscale hotel suite or a two-bedroom apartment. One room houses my armour and gear. I was given a few files about Russ's current goal and wars recently fought. So many orcs. Horus sent me another letter, as did Solomon. Horus is still in talks with Eldrad, who is set on meeting me. I'm open to the idea, as I will have a heavy guard. I don't know, they meet not with Eldar, just... Eldar are always just going to shaft you, that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, Eldar will just shaft you. I don't know about this, I don't think this is a good idea, but let's see what happens with it. Horus wants to pick up the location, have prep time, and have Solomon and Russ there as well. Eldrad isn't happy with that, as he wants to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. Aye, so he can mind fuck you? <laughs> Fat chance. I want at least one Primark there. Solomon has sworn to repay me for preventing his gene seed stock from being wrecked. Also told me the Eldar that approached him. Told him that I was dangerous and needed to be handed over for reasons, etc. Mere humans can't understand. I'm a super cool space elf, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about that, to be honest with you. Solomon did the right thing, wasting them. Kind of feel bad that I wasn't trying to help the Second Legion, but prevent the issue with Fulgrim's Legion being wrecked by bad gene seed. Hope that still gets caught beforehand. Mal told me to keep to myself during the trip, to meet up with the Wolf King. I still had to attend some official feasts, but hopefully the nobles just leave me alone. It will likely help I'm the only person to have more than three guards at the feasts. Razet told me he's planning on having at least 80 sunny dogs at the first feast. And of course, Legos will be there. Visible. I'm open to talking to them, but I have horrible luck with nobles. Maybe that is just the McDonald's? I'm just going to wear some grey robes and red swash with my bolt pistol. It has my badge after all. We march towards the dining hall. 80 sunny dogs in full gear and armour, beside two holding standards. Razitz was in full dress uniform. Damn, he has a shit ton of medals. Me and my robe and sash pack in heat, and Legos in plain view for once. The standards are my cup logo on one, and the Imperial Aquila on the other. We were going to bring the sunny dog standard, but Razitz wanted another gun in play for even spacing. The Herald announced our arrival to the feast. Well, mine and company. Raza picks a table by the wall and we are set. Raza and I sit at the table big enough for ten. The solar ox blocks us nearly completely. Legos is standing right behind me. A bold grip approaches us. I wave to allow them in. Lord Anon, it's an honour to meet you. I am Major Rupert Krasit of the Tashi 401st. He is a big guy and holy hell he is an actual Rupert. I thought that was a joke. Hello. I get up to greet him. Don't want to be rude. He continues. 
This is Lady Evitkit Kazet, my cousin who is on her way to be appointed Governor of Gath Three. The future PG is what looks to be a woman in her 30s, but she has her arms covered, likely covering de-aging treatments. A pleasure, I nod toward her. Were you two planning on joining us? Oh no, it's clear you wanted privacy. I just wanted to meet you. I heard about you and Lord Gulliman leading trips into the Underhive. Messy business, that. Must have been harrowing. Yeah, it was a brutal affair. It was meant to be a quick bonding mission. Got really out of hand. I try to repress the memory. Bonding mission? So you must be very close to the Imperial household. It's my job, I shrug. They both laugh. Their guards are nervous as hell, though. We small talk for a bit, and they part with no issue. Later, some poor servant comes to serve drinks. She is clearly terrified. It makes me feel like shit. Razat tells her to breathe with a chuckle. A few more groups approached, but most stayed put. They were all clearly on edge about me. I couldn't understand why. A few officers were quite friendly. One techie boy... <laughs> I said tech. I, I see <laughs> One tech boy even said hello. I assume eyes Lego's armour. The captain of the ship and her second joined us for the actual meal. She had a badass metal arm and was quite likeable. The second was an ass. Talked to me like I was retarded or something. Legos just placed a hand on his shoulder and he shut up. <laughs> what a fucking moron. How is he so high ranked in this ship? I just had a nice grok steak and some weird fish snacks. Razat was straight up drinking liquor like water. Totally unaffected. Made me feel silly drinking my wine. After the meal proper, more nobles and officers tried approaching me. It was mostly awkward, but harmless. Until, of course, I demand you apologise for your insults to my most honourable house. Oh, fuck off, McDonald's. <laughs> of course one of the army officers was a McDonald's cousin. Fuck off, I dismissed him, and Grand style. I was seriously sick of dealing with these fucks now. They were everywhere. I will not be talked down to, Ben. Um, jump. A few sunny dogs approached. One punched the McDonald's in the sternum and the rest dragged him away. Lego stood in front of the noble's entourage and told him to leave. As in, the feast. The captain assured me that the McDonald's regiment would be on a house arrest. I'm also pretty sure the sunny dogs roughed him up. <laughs> well, fuck that guy. I wonder how this is going to come again. I think this is going to bite them. Mm. I think it's going to bite them. Yeah, it might. Definitely at some stage. Yeah. We are stopped at some spaceport above some agri world. The whole planet is a shallow ocean peppered with islands, the largest of which is the size of Delaware, basically non-stop fishing and harvesting some fast-growing coral that is harvested en masse for building material. Of course the coral spits acid until killed. The fleet is resupplying as well as trading trips between ships. We're going to be here for a few days, so Razak gave a rotation for the sunny dogs to have leave at port. The port has a casino. The boys are eager to waste their money at. I mostly just read more reports. The next feast was uneventful. I mostly small talk with the Kazits and the captain. A few officers tried to get me to talk about the big E and his sons. I just told them to wait till we linked up with Ross and ask him. That made them quiet. Our next stop was a forge world. We refueled, picked up some supplies, dropped off some fish and coral, and the archmages told us to basically kick rocks. Thankfully no feast after, as we didn't trade crew or trips. I did try to find a mural in one hall the captain told me about, and walked in on an off-duty couple in one of the empty rooms. It was awkward. Awkward! <laughs> <laughs> Even worse, when they asked if I wanted in. Hey, hey, nice. <laughs> what the hell, people? <laughs> the Kazits visited me for a bit. Just some minor drinking and Ripper told me some war stories. Also kicked my ass at cards. I did have fun, though. Our next stop was a semi-feudal world. Same old resupply... We did have to attend a party, but none of the locals approached me. Likely didn't help I was wearing my armour and had all the sunny dogs with me. I was worried something would go down the first time I actually was off the ship. No go, thankfully. We should only have one more stop before we reached the mustering point. I was polishing my armour when I felt it. The ship lurched. My guards put their helmets on and helped me into my armour. We got a call from Razitz. He got word from the captain we got pulled from the warp. What's going on? I prepped both my pistols and my ring, debating to don my chain yet. The sunny dogs are on full alert. Our hall is on full lockdown. Ship lurches again, this time hard enough to rattle things. Fuck, that can't be good. We get word from the captain that the fleet is being attacked by Corsairs. Fucking Eldar! 
Oh, he's up. No, you <laughs> We might be boarded. Clearly heard explosion, a few car doors down. Yep, we're being boarded. I'm being kept in my room. The living room slash kitchen is being guarded by sunny dogs that have fortified the place. The hall is a kill zone. I can hear fighting. After a bit, it stops. A guard hands me his vox. Anon, their leader wants to talk to you. Raza is on the other line. Tense and clearly focused. Put me through. On it. I can hear the vox being thrown. Is this the keeper of lore? (laughs) (laughs) Fuck, I'm keeping that one. (laughs) Whoever speaks has heavily <laughs> Whoever speaks has heavily accented gothic. Who wants to know? Just the Farseer sent to bring you in. <laughs> I don't know why Eldar speaks. <laughs> I'm reading it how it's typed. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. I like that. I like that voice. Which craft world do you heal from, child of Isha? There's a pause. Biltan. Biltan. <laughs> I can't Biltan. <laughs> I don't know what type of accent that I don't is. Know. Is it like a Russian almost that kind of sounds? I- I don't know, it's like East... Um, I don't like, know, Eastern like European. Some, it's some... Like sort of. I don't know what... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, that's just a little bit. And what do you want, O oh, vaulted farseer of Biltam? What do you want with us? Don't play games with us, monkey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight up monkey, like monkey. <laughs> you know why we want you. I don't swing that way. <laughs> 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 I hope this farseer is male. It would be funnier that way. The farseer starts ranting and I only half listen. I lean towards another guard. Do they have their helmets on? He looks at me oddly, then asks his vox. No. Great, that makes this easy. Tell the captain to vent this section of the ship. We're all ready for void. He gives me a thumbs up. After a crashing sound, everyone is thrown around by the coming vacuum. The chaos gives Legos time to start butchering the Eldar. That gave the sunny dogs time to help out. Too bad enough Eldar escaped. Don't know how they survive vacuum like that, but it's total BS. By now the fleet has regrouped and the Eldar are forced to flee. I really hope many of these fuckers died for this. I order Razitz and the boys to bring me any soul stones that are found. It should be worth something to Eldrad. Yeah, soul stones are very valuable to them. Very valuable to them. We got a bunch of soul stones. I added them to the stash Solomon sent me. I'm kind of confused why Biltan would want me. And I thought they were led by Exarchs, so why was the Farseer after me? I thought Biltan were in the kill all monkey camp. We vented the Eldar bodies and tended to our dead. Thankfully ours was the only ship boarded, but that is concerning. How did they know which ship I was on? I thought the Eldar were kind of cool in my old life, but actually living in the same galaxy with them is unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite an Eldar fan though myself. Like, we all know, James. Yeah. <laughs> we reached our next stop, with no more issues. Another Igri world, this time devoted to Grox raising, as well as harvesting minerals from their manure. We were delayed a bit at port for repairs, but we are still ahead of our estimated time. The spaceport did have a resort, so I got a massage. Really helped with the stress. Next stop is the mustering point. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but today's sponsor is brought to you by Neckbeardia's 3D printed models. Go ahead and check out the eBay store down below. We have tons and tons of really cool looking models. We've got it all from orcs, dwarves, the lizards and fish people. And yes, most of the sets you can get some big bitty bitches in with them. (laughs) And honestly, they're our biggest sellers. Yeah, by far. Yeah. All the models are printed and processed by us and it is by far the best way to help us out to do what we do. So go ahead and check them out below and just just look at this lizard lady with titties. She got big titties. (laughs) Look at the titties! (laughs) As we enter the system, we are healed by the wolves. They tell us which of the six base ports orbiting the moon of the local gas giant. I get in my armour. I'm eager to meet Lehman Russ. We hit a snag though. Papers please. The army guards are insisting I show my papers and ID, but I don't have any. I literally don't have any. Russ is expecting me. Yeah, and I play cards with the Emperor on weekends. Don't try that grok shit. Nobody gets past without proper ID and papers. You've got to be shitting me. Is this a joke? Is our job a joke to you, asshole? I am Lord Anon. Never heard of you. I am the Emperor's cupbearer and was personally requested to be here by Lehman Russ. Likely story. Still need to show us your papers, jackass. I have a custodies with me, and a bunch of solar ox with me, but you still have not provided ID and papers. 
This went on for a while. This is giving me little Monty Python vibes. It's like, I'm the king. It's like, I didn't fun for you. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what it is. Do them yeah. peasants. <laughs> I literally have the Emperor's sigil on my armor. And we have already filed a report against you for lack of respect towards the Imperial household. But the Emperor literally made my armor as a gift. Yeah, and I bet your pen pals with Horus as well. Yes, actually, I am. <laughs> Whatever, just give me your papers and ID. And you can enter. I'm about to shoot this fucker. We've been here for an hour. I am beyond pissed. Will you let me pass? I have a meeting with Russ you're making me late for. You ain't passing this gate without proper ID and papers. I'm rubbing my temples. When the guards get a call. The guard has a thousand yard stare as he is yelled at over Vox. Sorry sir, I was just following orders. You're free to pass. I walked past, just wanting to move on. Then they stop Razzitz. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> Breaking news. Terror Lord intimidates station guard, utilising an ancient Terran battle stance. <laughs> the station guard appeared to have backed himself into a corner. The Emperor's cupbearer has both arms extended at a 90 degree angle from his legs, as he glared beerfully. His guards and even an exhausted Emperor's custody joined the Lord in his intimidation tactic. The guards and all guards of the station have been thoroughly cowed. Just flexing on these retrobates, bruh, commented the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, Legos was just as sick of this as I was. He simply picked up both guards by the throat and the sunny dogs passed. That was retarded. At least it's over, Razzit replies. No, we still have to report these fuckers. Thankfully, a group of space wolves were sent to show us the way to Russ. Razzit hands me a pouch. What is it? Pills that allow someone to drink liquor like water. You're going to need them. Oh, God. Is that how you... No, I just have an augmented liver. Won it in a card game against Magos. Eh? That sounds useful. We approach Lehman's personal office. If it isn't my father's cupbearer, Lehman Russ greeted us warmly. Basically forced mugs in mine and Razzit's hand. Even with the pills, the drink makes my head and gut spin. The fuck even is this? I cannot thank you enough for helping my brothers. Horus had plenty of good things to say about you. It's great to meet you too, Lehman Russ. I look forward to following you and your sons into battle. I really hope I don't make a fool of myself. There are plenty of minor orc fiefs around this sector. You should get to see plenty of action. Me and my boys will keep you safe while ensuring you get properly blooded. Then he downs his whole oversized mug. But first, we will be holding some games to welcome you to our legions as an honoured guest. Sounds great. Russ reaches for something on his desk and shoves it into my arms. It's a spear. I knew you'd be all for it. Well, shit. <laughs> What's he signed himself up for? <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for this. Russ pushes me towards the gate to the arena. Nonsense, you'll do fine. I enter in and see my foes. It's a pair of Torellian, who looks like they've seen some better days. Is the Imperium already fighting the dog face fucks? I thought they bombed their world way later. Whatever, time to fight. My spear goes right through the first one's gut, thanks to the boost from my armour. It curses at me in some weird tongue. The other takes the chance to swipe at my face with a long knife. I burn him with my digi weapon. I quickly pull my spear out of the first to mercy kill the second. No sense at letting him suffer needlessly. Even if he is a Xenos, I would grant him a quick death. Death by fire is a brutal way to go. The crowd of Astartes and army staff cheer. It was an easy fight, and a quick one. Thankfully, Russ didn't throw me at some horror for laughs. I wouldn't put it past him to do that, to be honest with you. <laughs> the wolves have been pretty welcoming. The pills Razak gives me really help. I only really drink wine casually, and the stuff the wolves give their mortal guests is heavy-duty stuff. I got to see some of their training drill, which was interesting to watch. I think one of the servant girls is trying to get me drunk. She keeps shoving a new drink in my hand all the time. Won't stop asking me about Terra. I'm kind of burned out in people right now, and I just want to watch the Legionnaires spar. I try and answer her questions and be polite. Russ is facing a dozen of his boys in the arena. Servant girl is still asking me questions. Doesn't seem to understand I want to watch the match. Why is she doing this? The Solars could have answered her questions better. I even tell her so. She then asks me about home. I just want to watch the fights. I tell her about home, my family, the state of the world when I left. Holy shit, Russ is using one of his sons as a club <laughs> and the others. The crowd goes apeshit. I'm tired as fuck. I signal to my guards that I'm ready to go to my quarters and rest. The servant girl asks if she could join me. Why? 
When, what do you think? She's like, okay, come on, here. I'm going to sleep. If I wanted to socialise, I would stay here. A few of the sunny dogs are laughing at some joke they must have heard. I was given an officer's cabin and slept like a log. I woke up hungover. The pills didn't fully save me from the drinking, as they were a lot. It could have been worse. I freshened up and head to the mess hall to eat. Just some oats, fruit, and what I think is ale. Raza was too hungover to join me. <laughs> I have another meeting with Russ, but that is much later in the day. I plan to wander around the port and check things out. Everyone seems to give my group a wide berth. We stopped at a few arenas. Some of the dogs wanted to head to a club for the soldiers. I allowed them to, as long as they stay out of trouble. I'm eating when I get a call from said club two hours later. A fight had broken out and I was needed to deal with it. F- the fuck, guys? Turns out the dogs used their bonuses from being my guards to party at the club. And said club was actually a brothel under a different name. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, guys. <laughs> Damn, guys, this better not turn into a scandal. What happened? Your men started throwing money at the girls and the other patrons didn't take kindly to them hogging all the women. Fights broke out. You gotta pay the damages. Done. Give me my men. I signed the papers to access my funds. It wasn't even the dent of my stipend. The sunny dogs will pay me back though. Why did Razzits have to be too hungover to deal with this shit? I had to detain the dogs that started shit. I had them confined to our wing in the port. It was a really light way of punishing them. I couldn't blame them for wanting to blow off steam. They could have just each picked a girl or two and been done with it. Not start a brawl. Whatever, Razzits could handle any further punishments. I spent some time at a range before a meeting with Russ. The meeting itself was just an overview of what we would be doing. We were going to clear the sector of orcs, now that the naval forces have wiped out their fleets. We were going to world hop and reclaim the worlds as well as liberate those under siege. We move out in a few days. Our first stop will be lifting the siege of a civilised world called Parth Secundus. Parth Secundus wasn't left to face the green tide alone. The sole hive city that served as the capital had a connected and walled spaceport. They were still receiving supplies and reinforcements, just limited its scope while the Imperial fleets targeted the orc ships across the sector. The Parthi were dealing with the siege and had evacuated the civvies from the countryside. Russ and the wolves would drop right into the major orc camp to devastate their ranks. I was to be the face of the mortal forces being sent to the hive proper to boost morale and to help hold the line while the wolves hunted orc leaders. The army would really be led by a council of generals that actually knew what they were doing. I was to go around and be seen, shake a few nobles and factory leaders' hands, and pose for propaganda pictures while looking heroic. As I arrived, I noticed the world had a Persia flavour. The PG was even called the Shah. Pretty sure they spoke a Farsi dialect. They still spoke Gothic, and pretty well too, though only High Gothic, but I had staff for that. The battle at the walls was ceaseless. The orcs had been battered by every passing ship dropping supplies for the hive, but they still came in an endless tide. The defenders pushed them back again and again, but the orcs always love a good fight. The plan is simple. The wolves will kill the war boss and his closest knobs, then push for the hive. The army and PDF will then sally forth to crush the infighting orcs between us. Actually seeing the orcs infighting made me really confused. It was every orc for themselves versus an attack from all sides. I rode on top of some massive tank, taking pot shots with my bolt pistol. Near the end of the fight, I picked up a sunny dog's banner and started shouting Terra Inviticus like a madman. The troops seemed to love it. Russ and I posed over the war boss's corpse for the cameras. He heckled my own war cry and head patted me like a child afterward. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> So yeah, we did. We told you, like, we're going to have it weekly. We're only one day out. We done it. We done it, all right? <laughs> we done it, all right? I'm, I'm set, like, you, you boys like, ooh, where's the next part? Where's the next part? Like, it's here it is. <laughs> here it is. We're only one day off. So that was in bag of one. We'll try to keep it to, like, maybe early in the week. You know what I mean? But I asked last week if we could get some fan art, and we did. And I'm sorry if I'm going to butcher this fella's name, but Jacobos. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jaco- Jaco- oh, look, Jacobo. I'm really sorry, we're butchering Jacobo. your name. But he sent in some fan art. He posted it in the Facebook groups we did. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Like, you know, the very early yeah. versions, and then later and later. I think it was a really good um, interpretation. Yeah. Anyway, I thought it was really cool. You know, so uh, look, if any other guys have got maybe some fan art, definitely would love to see it. Um, 
Is there anything else? Maybe some of him and like the power armor that he describes. Yeah, that would be the like. Yeah. But no, I thought that was really good. I, I'm happy that we got fan art. We never get fan art, yeah. whatever we ask. But like, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. As I say, I know we're going to try and keep it to the week, all right? We weren't that far off this time, <laughs> were we? But like, as always, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to you know, stay up to speed. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye.